Welcome back to Pokemon Ultraviolet! In the last episode, we went to the SSN, the beautiful boat over here. We completed it, we got HM cuts, and in today's episode, we're gonna be fighting the gym of this town. I forgot the town. But it's been a quite a while since I recorded a video. It's been like what 14 days? It's it's been it's been a it's been a little while now. But I am back. I'm continuing to record. My vacation was fun. I I had fun. Went to we went to Florida. We went to Universal. We watched UFC 300. Great fights. And we saw uh, the new Godzilla movie. And that movie was fucking crazy. I don't know what was going on in that. Uh, we don't have to fight all these guys. Like, he was actually the only one that you need to actually, like, you know, fight. But that's fine. Now, in this puzzle, like, to fight Serg, you have to find the switch. And this puzzle can be really hard or really easy, depending on your luck. See, there's a switch here. Usually, it's right next to it. So, maybe here? <laughs> oh, that's it. And we're just gonna maneuver right here, and we're gonna fight this guy. And then we can go fight Zerg. So we got lucky. Sometimes it says right next to it, but then if you fail, you have to go through all of it again, and hopefully it's like a 25% chance. Oh, Hound Hour leveled up. She's level 24 now. Great. Oh, we can get this out of the way. All right, so. I was planning on just fighting this guy real quick and then going to Zerg, but I didn't realize she was so close to leveling up. That's so good! She's finally level 24, which means she's evolving! Oh my god, she's gonna be so good! This Pokemon is so good early game. I frippy, I, I can't even talk. Hound Hour finally evolved into Houndoom. Oh my god, look how cool she looks. Oh my god. Look at her. Look at those stats. Oh my god. It's so good. There's no way I lose to Zerg. In fact, I'm so confident. We're just gonna duel him now. I'm not scared of him at all. Hey, kid. Uh, ugh. Excuse me, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I'll tell you, kid. Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into... Uh, they zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I will do to you. Jesus. I'm a child. Serg. What is wrong with you? You can't attack me. Plus, you have a Voltorb. Okay, look at look at my Pokemon. This thing's the size of me. And it's a fire type. Watch this. Oh, I outspeed too. Oh, the outspeed was amazing. The damage output was great too. I don't like how it hit me with that. It's better than uh, Thunder Wave though. So, that's fine. I'm scared of quick attacks. My worst stat is, in fact, physical defense. But, I should still do good damage. Like this Pikachu, one shot. We're taking him out so quick! I love it! And his last Pokemon is Raichu. This thing... ...can be dangerous. I still out- I outsped. I don't do a lot of damage, and it paralyzes me. Oh. Uh, it used double team. Damn, okay! So, all I can hope is- wow, okay, paralyzed. Is if I got burn. If I can burn it, we should be good. That quick attack did so much damage. But my embers do damage too, so I shouldn't- I'm not too worried. And I miss. I'm at the switch. She is not gonna be able to survive that. Man, that is- that sucks. That quick attack did not paralyze, that sucks. Quick attack. And I miss! After one double team, one double team, I've missed. That is crazy. I I actually cannot believe that. 
Shockwave. Okay, so Shockwave is a 60 base power electric move that never misses. So that it's a it's a pretty good move, and some non-electric types can learn it. So that also helps. Full heal. Are you serious? Then he's just gonna heal himself. Man, come on! I had this in the bag! And I miss... I miss 100% accuracy after one du double team. Two double teams! My god! Okay, well... Thunder Wave, you you can't move as much now. So... I'm just gonna have to hope I get these quick attacks in. Because pr it's pretty de decent damage, I will say. And I miss again. Uh... But the Raichu's paralyzed, so that's fine. I'm paralyzed. He used Shockwave. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Oh my god. Um, Quick Attack would be stronger. And I still miss. Oh my god. That is so stupid. Alright, I am back, and I leveled up Houndoom by one stage, so now she's level 25. I think that should be enough. I just gotta get super lucky. So, I'm hoping the Voltorb does use, uh, Screech. That's what I hope for. I could take out these two- his first two Pokemon are not a problem. The Voltorb and Pikachu, no problem. And wow, I get the burn off, though. That's nice. I get the burn that I don't need. That is... that's wonderful. Well, um... Pikachu shouldn't be too... Okay, no! Okay, he used his Super Potion? That's perfect. He won't have that for his Raichu. And... Uh, yeah, it survived still. Wasting some time. But that's fine. The Pikachu should go out in one hit, okay? Pikachu should not be any problem. And then when he gets to his Raichu, I'm gonna switch to Pikachu and use Paralysis. Now he will he will heal from that, which is which is fine. I don't really mind. Yeah, so Pikachu's down. Houndoom. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this works. My Pikachu should be faster. It's a higher level. Mm, okay, Thunder Wave. I am faster. That's what I thought. So yeah, Raichu's now paralyzed. Now Pikachu's gonna be paralyzed. And then I could go for chip, chip damage. If I'm lucky, that is. And I am not lucky. That's... Mmm. Yeah, use double team. Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thunder wave? I missed. I missed thunder wave. After one double team, I missed. A hundred accuracy move. I don't even know how much, like, double team does. I miss again. My god. And it looks like I'm unlucky. So hopefully we win this time. If we don't, then that's just going to be really annoying. Another double team. I finally landed it. Thank god. Just stacked up on all those. I can, I can literally only go for attacks. Ooh, that's, see, that's good damage, it's just that I'd have to land every single one. Oh, okay, Pikachu, okay. And you missed, that's okay, you got two in a row, that's very good. Uh, Shockwave is not gonna do too much. I mean, did a little bit more than I was hoping for. Landed it again, okay, well, I think one more quick attack and we win. Which would be perfect. Uh, that does a lot of damage. And we missed. Wow. Shockwave. Please. Please. Pikachu, it's up to you. Yes! Yes! Good job, Pikachu! Oh my god. Last second, too. That's so good. Man, that was just luck-based at that point. That's crazy. And then he gives us TM34, which is, uh, shock, 
Yeah, Shockwave. Which is a good move. Actually, can Houndoom learn it? If Houndoom can learn this move, oh my god. Uh, where is it? There, uh, there it is. Houndoom cannot learn it, that's sad. Abra could, that's cool. Also, I did not mention, I do, I did catch an Abra, and that's for this part we're gonna be doing right now, actually. And now, okay, cut. Thank you, Paris, I love you. So, before the episode ends, I really want to go through Diglett Cave. So, this right here is Diglett Cave. It's, obviously, Diglett Cave. What, what's gonna be in here? Diglets. Now, this part is pretty boring. It's, it's one, it's just going straight. That's it. It's just one long path that has a bunch of, like, dug trios and diglets. So, hopefully I don't get encounters, and I can just run through here perfectly without anything happening. Which is, I'm hoping for, because, man, I really don't want to be going through here back and forth. It's, mm-mm. Which, I, I, okay, well, re repel wore off. I didn't have enough. Okay, that's two repels now. Now, we should be able to make it through. Which... Should we do without... Ah! Oh! Yeah, get out of here. 677 XP. Wow. That is a lot. And with that, we're over and back at Route 2. And you guys remember, there was a Pokemon here. I don't know where it went, but it was, it's, it was there. So the repair, the repel wore off, which is fine. So we're gonna cut down this tree. Just, whoosh, I hit my mic. Sorry if you heard that. And then down here is a person we really want to talk to before we go to the next area. And if we have ten Pokemon or more, we get this item, right? It was, it was ten. We get HMO five, which is Flash. The cave, the dungeon that's coming up, you're going to need it. So I recommend just catching a few Pokemon if you don't have a full team yet and just get it. That cave is so miserable without Flash. And then that guy, obviously, he's just there to tell us that the other guy's down there. But the reason why I caught uh, Abra was, was for this. He's looking to trade for his Mr. Mime for an Abra. Now, Mr. Mime is a very good Pokemon in this game. And since it's a trade evolution, or a trade Pokemon, not evolution, it gets a 1.5 XP boost. So you can get this guy up very high. And the best part is, if you so happen to get the lucky egg, you got a two times multiplier on. So all XP is gonna be so easy just for this Mr. Mime, which he calls Mymen. Th uh, thank you. I, I got a Pokemon now. Uh, let's let's check him out. Now he's always gonna have a perfect stats. He has soundproof too, so he's immune to sound-based moves. Very good. I'd recommend getting Mr. Mime. And before I do anything else, there's one more thing I want to go to. Since we have cut now, we can go all the way up here to Pewter City again. And there's a back entrance to this museum. And all we gotta do is cut this tree down. And then there's two things you can get here. And I, obviously, I will show you right now. This guy. He wants you to take this amber that has a Pokemon in it. So he he wants you to take it to the Pokemon lab somewhere. Now, that is at the 7th gym, so we're not going to be anywhere close to that. But it's a fossil Pokemon, which is cool. And this guy down here, he'll teach you a secret move called so, uh, Seismic Toss. It works just like Nightshade, where it does the same amount of damage as your uh, your level. So that's also cool. Now, I'm going to meet you guys at Cerulean City, where Misty's Gym is. And I'll see you guys in probably a few, like a minute or so, from for me at least. For you guys, it's probably like right now, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I am back at Cerulean City. And before I do any, before I think I wanted to do, there's also the bike shot that we can go to. Since now we have the bike voucher, 
we get a bicycle now so now everything is gonna be so much faster it's oh so good i'm not gonna put it on right now i'll put it on in the next episode but the one there's one area we have to go to next and that is obviously go through the house hi dude yeah we we got the tm firm but he doesn't want it and now we can go to route nine which has an item in it which is nice and then it leads us to the next poco center which then leads us to the next big thing and there is a few trainers that we have to fight i want to do this before the episode ends these should they shouldn't be too long and she has four pokemon that are all gonna be really weak level 18 oddish my god you deceived me well you shouldn't have attacked me i don't know what to tell you and oh i did not mean to come down here but right here is aerial lace a very good flying move and oh my god i uh did not realize he was right he's gonna look up behind me okay well that that kind of sucks all right, well, I, I defeated him. He, was, he wasn't he was really hard at all. Uh, oh, we gotta... No, we continue this way. And then... We have to fight him. He's just a bug trainer, so that's fine. But that guy... The guy I fought, he had an Onyx and a Machop. And that Machop really messed up my uh, Houndoom. I'm at 13. And then the Onyx hit me with a Rock Throw. It was awful. We weren't gonna survive that. Also, level 20 Caterpie? Like, why? Why do you have a level 20 Caterpie and a level 20 Weedle? Like, why? Like, you could have... You could have trained a whole team of level 10s that were fully evolved. But you chose that. Also, Venonet is actually pretty good. Like, I would actually recommend using Venomoth, which is what Venom Venonet's evolves into. Venomoth is very good. It gets Psy Beam. It can learn Toxic. Well, any Pokemon can learn Toxic, but it can learn a lot of good Psychic moves, like Psychic. Uh, it can learn Psy Beam, obviously. It, it's just a good Pokemon. I would recommend using it. And we don't have to fight her, and then we can continue this way to Route 10. We don't have Surf, so we can't go down that way. And with that, we reach the PC right next to this rock tunnel. It's called the Dark Cave. It is the worst dungeon in this game. I hate this area so much. There's just a lot of grass and ground type users. It's horrible. But in the next episode, we're going to be going through the Dark Cave. And maybe we can be able to nickname our Pokemon. If there's enough time in that episode. But yeah, until then... I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.